a very good morning one and all i am dr navin kumar navin kumar veldurthi coordinator of climate stories 2025 i give a warm welcome to you all for the climate stories 2025 voices for sustainable future just imagine you are all on the grand titanic ship that ship hits the iceberg at 11:40 pm on april 14 1912 and it sinks in the ocean at 2:20 am that means almost after 3 hours of hitting the iceberg so it sinks in the freezing atlantic ocean my question here is simple you were on the ship knowing that it was sinking could you please sleep comfortably peacefully in the last 150 minutes or the 3 hours impossible right right now our mother earth is also like sinking titanic we know the dangers and we see the alarm signs and we also listen that there is a risk of survival of the whole human civilization in the coming decades and centuries but most of us were still in deep sleep as if nothing is going to happen why do i tell this because we have already burned enough carbon dioxide into the atmosphere where it was initially 275 ppm before industrial revolution but now it reached to 420 ppm as one of the uh, famous climate scientist dr james hansen said every single day the amount of heat coming into the atmosphere is equivalent to 4 lakhs hiroshima atomic bombs that much amount of heat is coming into the atmosphere every single day then obviously there is no surprise that ice sheets are melting seas are rising and extreme weather events are happening more cop so that is why this is actually the reality we are living in and it demands an urgent climate action you see when we first thought of climate stories we asked ourselves a simple question how can we bring this terrible reality closer to the people's hearts scientific data always gives us the information but definitely it often will not reach to the common people so that's where the climate stories was actually born born to create a platform for the youth to tell the climate issues in the form of stories so here we create a platform for the youth in the nation where they tell the fascinating stories about the climate which will reach to common people even though the layman who doesn't have much technical knowledge you see most of the times the climate conferences are limited to the five star hotels and got stuck in the spiral of expert discussions but that don't reach the common people who most need the awareness this is different our initiative climate stories is different in such a way that we create the stories through the young storytellers and that will be reaching the people across the country which will move them to the core of their hearts and ignite the climate action so here initially this climate stories event when we thought we were very much skeptical because we know that this is an experiment but when the esteemed jury members have agreed to join us it has given us enough confidence to pull it off and we have also committed in the beginning that climate stories should not only talk about the sustainability we should set an example that's why we have tried to create this as a zero waste event where most of the cutlery for the dining glasses tables sorry plates and everything were absolutely reusable and the paper what we are using is 100% recycled one which was recycled by the waste paper not made from the fresh wood pulp 
and the tax we are wearing these or upcycled cloth and prepared by the self help groups in jamshedpur and ultimately the only waste will be generated in the event will be food waste thus will be finally sent for composting so we thank kuru foundation for making this happen and joining with us so now on record i would like to place my heartiest gratitude to our honorable director professor gautam sutradar for his vision and unwavering support which made this event possible and deputy director professor rv sharma for his constant encouragement and colonel dr nishit kumar rai registrar of the institute for backing us at every step of planning and we also thank professor chetan singh solanki for joining us as a chief guest in this event sir your presence not only gives honor to this platform but also inspires our all young participants and i also thank our esteemed jury members who bring their knowledge and wisdom to this platform and i thank you all for placing your trust in this initiative and i also thank the core organizing team and the participants or sorry and the volunteers who are actually the food soldiers uh, of this event and more importantly you the participants you are the heart of this program you have come from various parts of the country carrying your passion carrying your ideas and carrying on your stories we hope that your stories will not end on this stage and we aim to spread all those stories across the nation through youtube and our social media channels to ignite the climate action across the country and beyond and finally i would like to tell that we are creating a history here the first climate stories but certainly not the last with this i warmly welcome you all to climate stories 2025 thank you